Hi everyone. I'd like you to see how we suggest you to install your fabulous kinetic wind sculpture in your garden, your yard, etc. Okay, we have a great suggestion that makes it easy with just a few tools. You can do this yourself or with a partner, no problem. The tools you're going to need are first a T-post fence post, okay, and I have a little magnetic level uh, as you can see on the T-post because it's very, very important that it's way vertical, just perfect. That will make the wind toy, which we take a lot of time to balance, move just perfect. I have a one inch EMT galvanized pipe here. You can get this at any and every hardware store. They all have them. And I have a post driver, which you'll see in just a second. It's, uh, it's something that's used to drive fence posts in the ground. And if you don't have a driver, you can use a nice, good, heavy mallet. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put this T-post in the ground and get it really, really vertical. Okay, checking for level. Looks good. Next, we have the one inch EMT that I told you about. And here's the thing. We recommend no more than seven feet. It, I believe it comes in 10 foot sticks. We recommend seven feet because it has to be where you can lube it on a regular basis. And if it's too tall, like all of us, you might not do it. But if you can reach it easily, then seven, about seven feet works good. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you, this T-post has sections, and the one inch EMT nests really, really easily in the T-post, see that? It doesn't go in the ground, it just sits above ground on the T-post. And that also enables you to move these around if you find visually you want it somewhere else. Very simple. I have a handful of cable ties here. And what I suggest is that you take six cable ties and you put two at intervals up top, in the middle, down below. That's a six total of six cable ties. Okay? And they're real easy. Everybody knows cable ties. You can get them at any hardware store. Okay, cool. One more thing about this one inch EMT. If you do cut it, and to be fair, 10 foot stick is pretty tall, so you probably will either cut it or have someone cut it for you. Be sure to do this. Take the, it is galvanized, but take the cut end, let's say this was a cut end, it goes down. The reason it goes down is so that the galvanized end, uncut end, is up in the weather and to make sure that it won't rust. Fabulous four-wheel drive. One inch EMT, all of our kinetic wind sculptures fit into one inch EMT. The bearing case, perfect, voila.